So, how about we start with Rainbow? So, little one. Well, I have to trim down some of the pathos. This must be the worst feeding video ever. A special Akimander. Please tell them in the comments. I'm going to put these plants in an Ohali and this is poop. Oh! Hello all you wonderful people and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new to the channel. I really hope all of you are having an amazing day. And my name is Mio and you guys are watching West Bay Reptiles. So in today's episode we're going to feed the bigger snakes but we're also are going to do a couple of other things. So stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. So, how about we start with Rainbow? Hopefully she'll take it. Oh, you guys saw that? That's what you call a mini anaconda. That's so cool. And yeah, just you know guys, rainbow boas are really closely related to anacondas. If you have a rainbow boa, you can call it a mini anaconda, which is, well, pretty awesome. So next up is Cruella. So let's see if she wants a rat. Let's go find a nice one for her. I have one. Oh, got two. <laughs> Only the one. So let's see if she wants to eat. Hopefully she will, but as you guys probably know, she is rabbit. So there's no guarantee that she'll eat. And well, she does not seem interested. You know, she is a really good eater. So, yeah. So, well, this may not seem like good news that she's not eating, but for me, it's actually good news. Because hopefully, that means that she is gravid for sure, which I am pretty sure about. But this means she's close to laying eggs. Because the closer the female gets to laying eggs, she becomes less interested in eating. So. Maybe she is smelling it, but well, we put it, we put the rat there, and then we'll see if she'll eat. So next up is Sasu. See if he wants it. Just up with him now. Well, we'll see if he is. I'll leave the rat there, and then we'll see. Time for Harley now. Let's see if Harley wants a rat. Hopefully she will. Come on, here we go. Cobra what? Here, we put the rat here on the hide. And then we'll see if she takes it anyway. Now, let's see if Floki wants to eat. Hopefully, please man, eat. It's been a while. No. <sighs> Typical ball pythons. Sometimes they're even afraid of the food. None of them seems to be willing to eat, but yeah. You know guys, this is how it is sometimes. So, now it's been a while since I well, gave them the rats and Harley still hasn't started to eat, so well, we'll see. But I'm gonna leave it in here, probably until tomorrow, and hopefully she'll eat anyway. But to be honest, I don't think she's going to eat. Because if she is, and I hope she is, close to laying eggs, 
she won't eat the rat. And with Sasu, I put the rat on the hide as well. So we'll see, he has smelled the rat, but to be honest, I actually don't think he's going to eat. But he ate not that long ago, so there's no worries that he skips, skips a meal this time. And same thing with Cruella, does not seem interested in food. And well, now you're wondering, well, where's the rat? Well, I put the rat in with Ragnar, because I only thought out uh, six rats. Five rats, I mean. I have six animals that eat big rats, but I only thought out five. If one of them wouldn't eat. But I didn't thought that, uh, well, none of the ball pythons has started to eat, so yeah. So we're gonna check up on Ragnar and Floki now. And here you guys have Ragnar. Same thing here, does not seem to be interested in eating. So, this is the thing with ball pythons. Sometimes they all go on a hunger strike. But hopefully it's only this time. And the exact same thing with Floki. This must be the worst feeding video ever. Well, I'm sorry guys, you can't control these things. Sometimes the animals just they don't want to eat. So, well, this sucks because this means I probably have to throw away all of the rats. Well, I could give one of them to Rainbow, but the rest of them, which is uh, oil, three rats, but it's still three more rats than I want to throw out. But yeah, this is how it is sometimes and it sucks because, you know, the food is not for free. So I'm actually going to take Harley's rat because I know Harley and if she would have wanted the rat, she would have taken it. I can try again. See here? She is not the least interested. No. So we're gonna give this rainbow because, well, I know Holly, and if she would have wanted a rat, it would be it, it would already be in her belly, so no, no interest at all. So we give this rainbow, so we won't so we don't have to throw at least this away. And why I'm taking Holly's as well is because this is the smallest one. So, Rainbow doesn't have too much food to digest. So, you see, Rainbow's ready. You gonna go? See that? She's so fast. Now she's gonna be real happy. But this means I'm not going to feed her, well, Maybe for a month, because now she has a lot of food to digest, and you don't want to give the give your snakes fat liver, which can happen if you feed them too much. Once in a while, it's no problem to give them one extra rat or one bigger meal, but you shouldn't do it all the time. So, next up is that we're going to put these plants in this enclosure. So, yeah, let's start planting. But before we put the plants in the enclosure, we need to remove the soil from the plants so we can expose the roots, which will make it a lot easier to plant them in the enclosure. And take the bucket here, and take this plant, and just carefully Take it out of the... Well, it was pretty easy actually. Nice roots here. We have the roots. Not maybe the strongest roots, but it will be enough. And I don't need to rinse this off because there's no fertilizer in the soil. Now we'll take the second one. here and then this one this one is so beautiful I actually have no idea what this plant is called so if any one of you knows the name of this plant please tell me in the comments so yeah let's start this and of course I'm going to wipe off the glass 
as well. So this I think we'll do time at for so. So this little crazy one, just jump out an enclosure. So this is the result. I'm somewhat happy actually. It's not the best I can do, I know that, but I work with what I got, so yeah. But they have a lot of climbing opportunities, so that's important for them. And hopefully the plants will grow in so that the colors will pop, you know, in the back in the background. So yeah. I think uh, yeah. I think this will be good. And there's also one thing that needs to be done, and that is I have to trim down some of the pothos. You see, it's so grown in, it's starting to push the mesh upwards, so yeah. But I have to be really careful, because as you guys probably know, is that morning geckos are lightning quick. So I have to keep my eyes open, so none of them escapes, and yeah, I have to be careful as well, because or, well, a couple of small ones in here, so I have to be careful so I don't hurt anyone as well. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm just gonna use an ordinary scissor. Okay, see? Morning egg. Just stays on a leaf. So little one. Well, yeah, you see how fast they are? So that's it. A lot more no not a lot more light up here now. And same thing back here. So I trimmed most in the background, as you can see. And it was actually quite a lot that I removed. This is all that I removed, and you can see it's pretty much actually. So, the plants in this enclosure are doing really well. Well, the animals also, of course. And the glass is all clean now as well. Actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Now I'm going to clean, well, see, this is poop. It's right there well there as well these two yeah you see how they mess things up here they have stepped in the food you know footprints all over and this is in one night i promise you guys these two are well somewhat nasty actually but it doesn't matter just look how cute she is well time to clean some poop And of course, I use window cleaner without ammonia, for the sake of the animals. <laughs> you guys see how cute she is? The chubby girl. But she is a jumper, so I have to be really careful when I'm handling her. She's so cute. As I said, a jumper. Hello, crazy man. Want some food? Here you go. Oh! 
Well, he's okay. So he just wants wants to come to me. I think he needs company by another Aki monitor. I think he's too, you know, too uh, tuned into me. As you can see. If you can see that, I don't know what I'm filming actually. So yeah. Well, buddy. Maybe I should clean the glass in your closure as well. Take the outside first. Yeah, now he's wondering what the heck I'm doing. I'm gonna open soon. Come down, buddy. So, if any one of you has ever heard of this kind of behavior from, well, a monitor, especially an Aki monitor, please tell me in the comments. As you see, I know it's courting behavior, but is it normal for an Aki to do it to a human? So yeah, but I'm really at the lookout for a female. And I really need to get one for him, so yeah. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And I really hope you enjoyed it, even though the feeding was a total fail. But that's how it goes sometimes. And while you're at it, go and check out my brother's channel, Tommy's Serpents. I will put the link down below in the description. And I'm gonna leave you with this guys, take care, be kind to someone, and at least always try to show other people respect. So till next time, goodbye guys.